where you been at and what's been going on we haven't heard from you in a while well i'm going to cover all that in this video so stay tuned What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. I know it's been a little while since I didn't tap in with y'all. Figure I upload this video, uh, give you an update on some of the life changes. I don't really know what I'm calling this video. I guess it's gonna be called a moment of transparency, give y'all some updates what's been going on with me. And um, talk about why what, what happened, where I'm at now, and, and where, we, where we going in terms of the channel and me as well. So basically, I don't know, I may have uploaded some videos letting y'all know about my shoulder surgery, may or may not have. I be using so many, it's so many different social media apps out here, right? But anyways, um, had surgery, and uh, actually let me backtrack for a quick second. Had dislocated my shoulder multiple times, ended up finding out that I need labral surgery, got the surgery, I'm about four and a half months into recovery. I'll be able to return to the gym in about six months. As far as the last year, so many life changes have happened. I've lost family members uh, during the pandemic. Um, I've had to get this shoulder surgery. I've had to deal with debt and different financial issues, a lot of different life changes. Uh, and I kind of use certain things in my life. I guess you can call it vices, food, um, not drugs, but just excessively smoking. I don't really want to consider, you know, uh, marijuana a drug, but doing stuff in excess, overeating, uh, eating unhealthy things. And I packed on a lot of weight and I got into a position where I wasn't really happy with myself no more. So as of, I want to say it's going on about 10, 11, 12 weeks ago, maybe three months ago, I decided to start exercising again. I have lost some weight and I wanted to make sure I was consistent before I uploaded the videos because the worst thing that could happen is I'm telling y'all all this good jazz about all these changes I make then I'm gonna feel ashamed if I don't upload consistently or stay consistent with that change so I'm ready to be held accountable publicly I've held myself accountable for 10 weeks privately been exercising um, I just started eating right recently that's another update I wanted to run by y'all real quick I'm starting up on this uh, this detox. It's gonna be a 21 day fruit fast and then we'll see where we go from there if I wanna extend it or, or whatnot. Um, if you look at some of my previous videos, you'll see that uh, I did a detox before, but I didn't necessarily do it the right way. So I had to cut it short. This time I did thorough research on how to do detox, what types of fruits to uh, avoid, what types of fruits to eat, Stay away from the starchy, fatty fruits, eat more watery fruits, all that good jazz. And um, I'm focused on my goal. Um, currently, I'm sitting at, I think, like around 250, 249. Um, my goal weight is somewhere between 170 and 190. We'll see. Um, coming from a place of being super physically fit, if you just look at my videos a year or so ago to where I'm at now, it caused a lot of depression. Um, I isolated myself and I developed a lot of unhealthy habits. I chose to make a change 10 weeks ago and as time progresses, I become stronger and adding more to that change. I started off by um, starting to work on my mental health, journaling, listening to affirmations, exercising. Now we're gonna incorporate the eating right and I'm gonna bring y'all along on the journey. The direction that I want this channel to go, I've been thinking a lot about it, but uh, I wanna really, I'm gonna obviously show uh, different intricacies within my life, but just give you the perspective of what it is to be a, a young man in the modern world, uh, help out some other males that may be going through similar situations. And I'm really excited to bring y'all along on not only my fitness journey, but just my journey in general to become a better version of myself, a better man, so on and so forth. So with all that being said, um, I don't wanna make the video too long. Uh, I will be uh, uploading. I don't know how often we're going. I'm gonna figure. I'm still figuring out some of the intricacies, but I will be uploading some new um, videos in terms of keeping y'all up to date on my weight loss progress, what I'm doing to get in shape, how everything's going with my shoulder, and this detox as well. And 
you know, we just gonna ride the wave, take it one day at a time. Um, and I'll leave y'all with this real quick. So uh, I used to always be super duper worried about the future, right? And uh, there was this uh, quote or uh, story, I'm a paraphrase I heard on this podcast, this man talking about a story with a boy and a horse in the woods. Basically, boy was walking through the woods with a horse, right? And it was dark, it was pitch black, nighttime. And young boy was scared. Told the horse, it's, it's too dark. I, I don't want to move. I can't see. And the horse turned around and looked at the boy and said, can you see your next step? The young man said, yes, I can. He said, well, take that. Take what you want from the story. But my takeaway is we don't always know or have a clear view about what's in our future, how it's going to turn out or exactly which path to take. But we always can take one step forward. We can always see at least one step ahead of us. And that's all we need to take is staying consistent with that. Life has a beautiful way of working itself out, even if you don't know where you're going, because um, I'm a believer in, you know, the most high. I believe in, you know, some people call it God, the universe, whatever. But, you know, the omniscient energy of the universe. And no matter what we go through, it's always something prepared and great for you within your destiny. If you use your free will in the proper way. When I say that, do things to raise your vibration, eat right, exercise, uh, practice semen retention every once in a while, put healthy foods into your body that are going to raise your vibration and detoxify, you know, the animals and processed foods and heavy metals out of your system. Don't do any, you know, it's okay to drink a little bit. If you like to smoke a little bit, do your thing, do that. But don't do anything in excess um, and, and always have time to uh, self-reflect on if you're going in the right direction and living in alignment with your purpose. Anyways, with all of that being said, I'm glad that y'all tapped in. I'm glad that I was able to upload this video and I'm going to be checking back in with y'all. So peace and love.